Good morning, this is Alamon, and welcome back to Polar Bear Apocalypse. We're smashing car right now on our quest to get further west and try to leapfrog over to Europe as soon as possible to uh, get a lock on those colonizers. And, you know, we're making progress, slowly but surely. Alright, they are done. A lot of people in this war against us, actually. We still have an overwhelmingly larger army than they do. Um, I don't think that they even have, excuse me, any sort of access to get to me. It is taking a while to chew through these fortresses. Slow going for sure. Just keep pouring troops down this way. Hopefully they're only going to have, you know, one or two at most. One or two more at most. A couple little baby stacks hanging around. Well, I don't think they have any more provinces after this. Other than the stuff up here. Which actually, why am I not up here yet? Oh, that's a pretty big army. Oh, Georgia counted as getting that siege. I wasn't paying enough attention to uh, know that that was a danger. Just give you a general... Let's just do it. We're capped on military power. Which is unfortunate. I could raise war taxes. We're losing quite a lot of money. So who all did that bring me into a war with, actually? Including Georgia, so I can take this place. Nope, don't charge in. All right, they don't have too much of a garrison there. It'll still probably take a good long while to siege that up. Let's wipe these guys off the face of the earth. Lose prestige, I lost way too much admin power this game. Right, unfortunately not a stack wipe.
There, something like that. That'll get us started. Darn, well, I don't want them sieging up my stuff. Send a couple stacks over that way. So I'd say that's like the bare minimum of what we need. That'll be good too. And it'll also be good to open up a front down here as well. And it looks like we're able to do both of those things. So that will be our peace treaty in this war. So we still have the uh, no CB war to deal with. Oh, that siege went... Pr or no, that is not the siege. No, that was the siege that went... Uh, I was going to say that went fast. Those guys stopped for some reason. Still want to take those rebels out. Capped on military, but I just don't have anything to spend it on unless I want to pay down one of these factions. I don't have any um, military idea groups. And we are swimming in points because we are Western and have good advisors. So, I mean, we're capped on piety. I don't really want to lose piety, but... Yeah, we could give it a shot. We have Trebizond now. Knock those rebels out. That's all I really want is Trebizond. Karakoyanlu separatists are starting to get up, so may as well start spending that extra military power. Can't take it yet. Boy, Georgia is not in good shape at all. Can't make that one a core yet for some reason. Maybe somebody else has a core on it, like uh, Georgia, probably. So let's piece you out. See if we can piece you out. Uh, amazingly, not yet. Ah, you have more territory. No, still want you, Trebizond. It's not strictly necessary, but I want it. Oh, now I can start coring that place. I don't know why I couldn't last time I checked. Hmm. Good, they weren't even... They didn't even have upkeep on their fort for some reason. They must have very little money if they were in that situation.
Who's even left? Theodoro. There's the one province minor. What do they care? Hmm. I think it's time that I started getting some cannons. I want 28. I, I think. No, I'm still missing... Yeah, there's the other chunk of the army that's missing. So 32. I want 32 cannons. That shouldn't be hard to get. Although it's way more than I can afford at the moment. Yeah, I mostly just need to get out of these wars. That's expensive. split the armies up to decrease our attrition. Alright, ready to peace out yet? Nope. Boy, are we losing a lot of money. I think our advisors are actually getting too expensive. Hmm. Well, I could get those cannons now. Our economy is not on the best of footing. But it's something we can work toward, at least. The tolerance of heathens is at the very end of it. That's unfortunate, but... We'll live. Again? God, they're still having problems with those rebels. Let's give you the fastest man alive. See if we can peace out here yet. Finally, we can peace out. Now we can finally get this exploration going. Give you an explorer, which is terrible. And, uh... I thought I selected him. Here we go. Coast of Hormuz is what we're going to want. Oh, we were just short of being able to get that in time. Still hemorrhaging money. Let's uh, dump our army maintenance way down because we're not fighting right now. Oh, you finished. Okay. The waters of Hormuz, I guess. Well, that was short. The waters of Basra. It's also going to be a super short one.
I think I'm going to need Waters of the Gulf of Aden. But it's good to at least be able to see everything along the coast here. That's something that we um, can benefit from. Gain our piety back. We spent a bit of it earlier. Here we go. Years of Separatism, minus 10. That is going to be huge. That'll make them much less revolting when we take new provinces. And at least we're making decent progress on our exploration. Zanzibar is an idea. I'd rather do the coast of the Gulf of Aden. We could try sending somebody to circumnavigate the globe, but we don't need the prestige. And you don't actually get a lot of practical benefit from circumnavigating. Can I just make you, um, so boats can patrol, I guess maybe armies can't. What if we put you on that? Will you, no, you won't. Okay. So we just have to keep paying attention to, uh, those pop-up messages. So what is my next target going to be? What am I actually waiting for? I mean, Muscovy is super strong now. We do have a beachhead here. We can fabricate claims on the Ottomans. Oh, okay. Lithuania took over Theodoro. So we don't have to worry about them anymore. Uh, not a very good Poland. England kept all of its toeholds in France. Hmm. It'd be nice to have a claim on Sinop. If I kept a, you know, if I just basically took the coast, that would be helpful. Sinop first, and then Kanik can be the next one. But yeah, if we just crawl along the coast. Yeah, they do have their capital of Constantinople. But yeah, crawl along the coast and get as far as Yanya. That's all the bridgehead that we need. And it's nice that we have a fort right here. We don't exactly have a lot of others, though. In this uh, immediate area. Religious unity counts almost as 100%. Could still get a military advisor, but... Okay, let's just get this level 1 land maintenance modifier guy, because he'll help us save a lot of money. Let's also get those cannons building. 
Yeah, it all takes about the same amount of time. So let's have them converge there. And then each of these stacks is going to get four cannons. Oh, Navy's still exploring. I thought for sure I must have just missed the pop-up. Alright, well, we have a million cannon that have just finished being built and are all converging now on Vaughn. So let's see what happens in the next one. Good night, sleep tight, and let the bears bite. Bye-bye.